Hello everyone, Firestar1992 here for more, uh, well, not Mage's Guild, I'm doing Fighter's Guild now. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, I chose to do it with Kyla. Um, the reason for that is because I have a feeling I know I, I can beat it. Plus I'm level 20, and I'm not as confident with any of my other characters to do it. So, okay. Um, you join, basically, uh, I think you just come to the Fighters Guild area or you hear about it. You say, hey, I want to join. They're just like, okay, you can join. And eh, there's my Twilight, finally. Um, and then when you reach about level 8, I think maybe you get it a little sooner than that, but it's, it's labeled level 8. Uh, you're told that Guild Master Sees All Colors here wants to speak with you. And I've put it off until I'm almost level 21. Heh, <laughs> lols. Um, but yeah, now let us speak to her. Comrade, thank you for coming so quickly. We have need of you. Will you fight by our side? What did you have in mind, Guild Master Sees All Colors? The Guild has accepted an unusual contract. We've agreed to eradicate Daedric Anchors when they drop from the sky. Yay! Wherever they appear, Molag Bal's minions soon follow. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. What would you have me do? As we speak, two of my guardians investigate rumored anchor sites. Merrick and Aleph are the best the guild has to offer. Meet up with them in the hills west right. of Davin's Watch. You can proceed from there. Alright, I'll do it. I know you'll change the river's course, comrade. They're investigating the wilds nearby, above the starved plains. Uh, the contract you mentioned. Who placed it? A powerful benefactor. She hates that monsters can ruin the lives of everyday folk. Our benefactor has put gold behind her principles. Anyway. And so, we put our strength behind her cause. Okay, uh, tell me about the, uh, Dark Anchors, because we don't know anything about it, do we? Oh, I got freaking swindled out of getting credit for one. They are the tendrils of Cold Harbor, reaching into Nern. The minions of Molag Bal erect dark shrines in his honor. Landing sites for these horrors. The coin this contract brings is good. And in this time of trouble, we need a focus. A focus? Yes, I am new to my role as Guildmaster. The death of my mentor, Yafnir Iceblade, has been hard on the guild. He was well liked among the rank and file. I hope the river has carried his soul where it wanted to go. Off to Sovngarde, because he was obviously Nord. I mean, if you can't tell from the name Yafnir Iceblade, yes, he was a Nord. Anyway, um, contract you may I already asked that. But I'll ask it again. How is the contract the unusual? Size of the task. Our benefactor has asked we call in every guildmate from the lowest associate on up. Every member of the Fighters Guild has been tasked with ending this Daedric corruption. Sounds like fun. Can you tell me more about Merrick? He's a proud Red Guard warrior, one of our best, and a follower of Stendar. Merrick's full title is Resolute Warhorn. He's sworn to fight the spawn of Oblivion wherever they touch Tamriel. And what about Aleph? Proof that the Guild accepts all kinds. A Khajiit. She does as much damage with her wicked tongue as with her curved blade. Taciturn, rude sometimes, but a cunning fighter. Alright then, so, let us go and find Merrick and Aleph. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And as you can tell, because I don't know if I've recorded any- I don't think I've recorded anything since, uh, update <gasps> four? Three, four, whatever update this was. They've introduced, um... Colors. Dyes. Armor dyes. That's what it's called. Um, so you can color your armor whatever you want. So I'm wearing uh, typical steel armor uh, like I was, I think, in the last um, the last Mage's Guild I did, but I've colored it. Um, I had a really pretty color scheme at first because there was a glitch that basically any colors your characters unlocked would be unlocked for all your characters. So I had this really pretty red and uh, I think it was red and blue color scheme going on, um, but then they fixed it when I, by the time I had to upgrade my armor, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll go with, I'll go with my school colors instead. Okay, uh, Mer, oh, there's Aleph, uh, Merrick, yeah, Merrick, come here. Thanks, Stendar. You're with the guild? See, it's all color sent me. Are you alright? It's the Divine's will it. The worms caught us off guard, but we made them pay in blood. Yay! Did Colors brief you on our contract? 
What we seek? Yes, you thought a Dankedric anchor might drop here. Uh, no, there's. Uh, you can tell where an anchor's gonna drop. I'm sorry, you can really tell that. As you say, there won't be an anchor here anytime soon, thanks to the two of us. Uh. I should be moving. We had word of another cell west of here near Ebenhart. Where do you want me? Here, if you please. Aleph, stay with our new friend. You two search these bodies. See if you can find anything of note. A pleasure meeting you, oh my comrade. And you, Merrick. You were very nice for Redguard. Redguard, gar Redguard barbarian. Worm cultist. Oh, lore book. Lore, lore, the Jorn the Skald King. Um, a Hellgear loot uh, boy, Bard of Windhelm. Okay, cool. Born in Second Era 546 to Queen Mabiam Flamehair, Prince Jorn grew up knowing that his elder sister. Nernhilde was fated to take the throne. A singer of rare talent in a culture that reveres the power of the human voice, Jorn studied at Skald's, Skald's retreat uh, on the island uh, on the Isle of Gold outside Riften. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, there he learned all that he could be taught by the most renowned bards of the Eastern Kingdoms. He was dubbed the Skald Prince of Skyrim. Uh, Jorn spent most of his youth in artistic and philosophical pursuits, cultivating a broad array of artists, artisans, and performers throughout Eastern Skyrim and beyond. He spent time in Mornhold, Stormho Mornhold Stormhold, such Ellen here, and even repeated to have visited Solitude, the capital of Western Skyrim, in disguise. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me Skyrim is divided in half right now? Like maybe Civil War or something? What? What? <laughs> that's... That's interesting. That's interesting to me. Uh, though he claimed to have no interest in politics or the business of rule, his natural leadership qualities made him the unofficial leader of the creative community wherever he found himself. Though he received formal schooling in the arts of arms and warfare, as a little prince of the Nords could manage as little as the Prince of Nords could manage anyway, traveling across Tamriel was always a dangerous activity. His travels taught him uh, less orthodox ways of dealing with trouble. Yorn was in Riften when the Akaviri uh, Durkamal assaulted the northeast coast of Skyrim in 2nd Era 572. Yorn and his closest comrades, the Pack of Bards, lovely, uh, fought their way up the coast of Windhelm to Windhelm, uh, just arriving just in time to see its gates breached by the Akaviri. Jorn hurled himself into the fray, street fighting being something he had experience with, but was unable to prevent the fall of the city and the slaying of Queen Mabjarn and Nur Nornhilde, the brief queen, who both went down fighting. Wounded and devastated, Jorn barely escaped the sack of Windhelm alive, feeling for the first time the responsibility of his royal birth, he decided to appeal to the Greybeards for aid, and so he made his way stealthily but quickly to High Hrothgar for reasons that have not been divulged. The Greybeards decided to teach the Skull Prince Athum, which summons a hero from Sovngarde to fight for the tongue who uses it. Well, we know that. we know what that shout is. Well, if you've played Skyrim. If you don't know what that shout is, then eventually I'll get to it in my Skyrim playthrough. Eventually. One of these days. Okay. Um, um, where was I? Uh, so you said that the, in Yorn's voice, the Thum became a royal call of valor, and the summoned hero was none other than Wolf ha Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Hearth, the Ash King. <sighs> Together, Wolf Hearth and Yorn, now claiming the title Skull King, rallied the Nords of Eastern Skyrim, mustering an army uh, from the Rift and the outer uh, outer regions of East March, then fortifying Riften, Dirk Maul. Uh, moving south from Windhelm, found Riften defended by angry Nords, inspired by the presence of Wolf the Hearth, and eager to fight. So Dirk Maul bypassed the Riften and marched on Mornhill. The Akaviri leader, assuming the Nords, would be glad to see him go. Choice was a fatal mistake. Jorn and Wolf Hearth led the, their army in pursuit of the Akaviri force, and the Nord army entered Morwen for the first time since the Battle of Red Mountain. Akaviri army was caught at Stone Falls between the Nords and a Dunmer legion led by Amalexia. Ugh. Uh, but the outcome of the great battle hung in the balance until a surprise intervention from a 
Vlanax of Argonian Shellbacks, led by a trio of reptilian battle mages. The Akaviri line was broken, they were driven into the sea, where they drowned by the thousands, the Ash King his purpose fulfilled, returned to Sovngarde in Windhelm. Three weeks later, Jorn was crowned High King in the throne room of the Palace of Kings. That's interesting. It seems like Skyrim's divided in half now? I didn't know that. Searching Worm Cultus. Torn note from Jessen. Let us read it. Under quest items. Mistress, we know where he shall be. We will remove the foul resolute from the battle. We shall return to the island tower when we have completed our task. Ever faithful, just okay. Uh, there's no. Okay, I think they're both just over here. Okay. What are you doing? You were glowing. It's kind of weird. Okay, search. Dwarven gear. Okay then. And what are you doing, Aleph? You're not even searching anyone. Moloch ball relic. Okay. Up. Oh. What? Oh. Your meddling scum. The Red Guard's soul will fuel the Mortum Vivicus. Nothing you can do can stop Dark it! Dark Morns? What was that? Okay then. Alright. Oh, far? Ah, I don't do alchemy. Alright, anyway. You! That vision. A Dramora woman talking about Merrick. Why would she want my hapless companion? How do you know she was talking about Merrick? I mean, she mentioned the Red Guard, but... You know... There are many red guards in Tamriel. At least, I guess there aren't that many in this part of Tamriel, but still. Who was that? Elif has no idea. Whoever she is, she is no friend to the guild or Merrick. She's after his soul, she said. It would seem so. This one cannot imagine the value of such a thing. Too shiny and dripping with pride. Oh, well, there you go. Just the same, we must warn him. And the guild. Elif will go after Merrick. Return to seize all colors. Tell her what you have seen. Go. I'm on it. Return to Davin's watch quick as you can, comrade. Seize all colors must know. All right, we'll do. I'm gonna get my horse. Yeah! So theoretically, for a late birthday present, my brother's gonna get me one of those stuffed guars, which of course I adore anyway. But then it's supposed to come with a uh, greetings. A uh, in-game vanity pet like my like Scuttlebutt. I have to think of a name for him whenever I get him. I think it's a pony guar, is what you get, which is one like a sm smaller than normal guar and it's kind of white with dark stripes. It's kind of like a zebra. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, yeah, but, yeah, but. I hate riding horses in town. I don't like the government of Morrowind, just letting you know. I don't like the governing bodies at all. They annoy me. The fact that A, they use the heart of Lorcan and make themselves gods, and B, that they actually made themselves god and made themselves gods. It's just, ugh. Okay, up. Uh, you. No, not you. You. Back so soon, comrade? American Ale have stopped the cultist, but a projection appeared to us. A Dramora woman. A vision of a Dramora. This clouds the waters. The forces of Molag Baal must know more than we realized. What did she say? She talked about a Mortum Vivicus? I don't know what that is. Nor do I, comrade. Interesting. Did she say anything else? She said, she said she'd take a Red Guard soul. She's going after Merrick. Merrick? This dries my scales. Recruit, you must get to them. Aleph and Merrick are competent, but the Daedra are not to be trusted. Find them near Ebonheart. I will rally our forces here and investigate this Vivicus. Whatever it is. Okay, we'll do, Guildmaster. Now I need to go find Ebonheart. Ebonheart. Um, there is no dice station in Davin's Watch. Uh, so if you want to dye your armor. Um, you have to go all the way to Ebonheart, which is kind of odd to me since Davin's Watch is like more so the main city than Ebonheart is, I feel like. Uh, I'm gonna actually just go to the Way Shrine, which is outside the town, so I'm gonna have to go out the door anyway. But I'm not gonna run all the way there, because that would waste time! And I don't feel like wasting time today, except I wasted a bunch of time reading that book, but oh well. It was still interesting. It 
taught me things that I didn't know yet. Such as the state of Skyrim. Okay then. Scuttle meat? Oh, why would you kill a poor scuttler and eat it? That's that's as bad a crime as eating a cuttlefish. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Going. I still have not beaten that boss. There are like three or four world bosses I haven't beaten yet. What's that? That's where I need to go. Okay, uh, this looks to be the closest way shrine. Let's go. Fort Arand. And now we just sit here and have the loading screens go. In the meantime. Oh, nope, we're here. Loading screens are going by fairly quickly, I think, I feel. Oh my gosh, look at all this jute. So much jute. Also, lots of guars. Lots of adorable guars. I don't know why I find the guars so cute. They are like the most adorable things ever. Especially the uh, the bantam guars. If you've never seen it, it's basically a cross between a lizard and a chicken. It is the most adorable thing I've ever set my eyes upon. I love bantam guars. Look at all these guars. They look so adorable. I don't know why I find them so cute. They're like hideously ugly, but they're so adorable to me. Okay. It was real funny because there was a quest I did once in a town that was like, you need to herd the guar back to this, uh, back to there where they belong. And the guy gave me, you know, his shepherding staff. And basically what happened was... Oh, oh well. Uh, what happened was, it's basically... I used that very same animation, like the electric shock thing. It's the exact same thing. some other Daedra. Get after him. Don't let her take him. Okay. We'll do. Alright, anyway. Uh words. What was I saying? Um oh yeah, it was uh I think that's the last couple. What was I saying? What was I saying? The it used that same the the herding the shepherding rod used that same animation of the of the electricity. I was just like I was stunned. I was just like I said in the in the chat, it's like I I just electrocuted a guar. Merrick, comrade, what happened? Where did you go? Are you really surprised, Aleph? Dosha, that such a weakling could take one such as Merrick. Who is Dosha, and where did they go? How would Aleph know? She was behind you. Perhaps we wait for Caesar all colors? She said she'd rally the guild. Oh yes, colors, the heroic guildmaster. <laughs> we don't need to wait for colors. I'm sure you we don't. You and Aleph are more than smart enough to figure this out. Here, give those items you found on the cultists. Who is that woman and who kidnapped Merrick? You didn't recognize the Dramora from her projection. I think her name is Dosha. Where'd Quite you get full that? of herself, actually. Hmm. This note mentions an island tower. Aleph wonders if it speaks of Stonefang. Stonefang. Stonefang Cavern beneath an old tower on the island just beyond Ebenhart. Go seek Merrick there. Aleph will find our heroic guildmaster and get additional blade. Yeah, could you hurry up with that? May I good mean... fortune stalk your steps, uh, comrade. What do you think of those other objects I found? Which do you mean? The gear or the relic? Ah, uh, tell me about the gear. Ancient, dwimmer. Worn in places, this piece was used in one of their constructs. Smells fresh in some ways. Has been away from any ruins for a while. Shame. Might have been able to learn something more. And about the relic? Mm, crude construction, shaped by small fingers. Female Breton, perhaps wood elf, colored from clay. This region, so more likely Breton, smells burnt of cinders. Shaped near a wood fire stove or a kiln. Why are you accusing Bretons? 
Sorry, Elif. Tell me. Elif makes her way as she can. Helps the guild as she can. Just a humble Khajiit. Originally from the city of Doon. This one is of little importance. Yeah, sure, Elif. Whatever. 